Praise the living Jesus. We are continuing on our team for the month, building kingdom character and capacity. Praise the living Jesus. And I want you to go before me in the book of 1 Samuel 16, 40 to 19, as I read from here. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and a distressed spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said to him, Surely a, display, a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command your servant, who are before you, to seek out for a man who is a skillful prayer on the heap. It shall be that he will pray it with his hand, where the distressed spirit is from God is upon you, and you shall be where. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. The, sharp, the, the verses we read is about three people, Saul and his servant, and the boy that was about to be called. There was a spirit that was tormenting Saul, and there was nothing they have not done, the spirit refused to go. And the servant being brought a suggestion to the king, King, may you live long. This thing that is doing you is not daily. Well, I, there is some, I want you to command me to look for a man that is skillful, a man that has capacity, so that any time the spirit, the, the distressing spirit come upon you, as he sing, the spirit he shall be well with you. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. So, so said to his servant, provide me now the man who can play well and begin to be. Praise the living Jesus. Saul so said to his servant, provide me now that man that can play well. Praise the living Jesus. We live in a kingdom that operates people that play well. You must take note of their fact. People that do things well. We live in a kingdom that reward people that organize, people that take deliberate action concerning their lives. We are in the part of the world in which mediocrity are not being rewarded. No matter how good you are, if you are not focused and deliberate about your life, that person will lack reward. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible said, the gift of a man will make room for him. I shall bring him before great men. It's not every group, it's not every gift that makes room for people. It's only a gift that will be developed. It's only a gift in which the owner can do it well. Praise the living Jesus. Let's open our Bible again to the book of Exodus 18. 17 to 21. I read from here. Now, Jethro, the peace of Media, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all God has done for Moses and for all the Israelites' people, that the Lord has brought them out of Egypt. Then Jethro, father, Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Sephora, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back with the two sons. Praise the living Jesus. And let us then move to, let, let's move to nine. Then Jethro rejoiced for all the good which God has done for Israel, which had ever which has delivered out of the hand of Egyptian. Praise the living Jesus. I move to 21. Moreover, this was the advice Jethro gave to Moses. Moreover, you shall select from the people able men, such as, just as fair God, men of truth, eating of, eating of and place and place church over them to be ruler of towns or ruler of hundreds, ruler of fifty, and rulers of tens. Pray the living Jesus. What happened in this story was Jethro went to see Moses and the Israelites. So when he got there, he saw the way Moses was doing. Moses was the one that would do canceling. Moses was the one that would pray to people. Moses was the one that was doing everything. Moses was not focused. Yeah, he was anointed. Moses was not doing it well. Yes, he has the grace of God upon his life. Then the traitor father-in-law of Moses said, Moses, this thing you are doing, if you care is not taking, you will die and the anointing will continue. 
praise the living Jesus. In our verse, Moses said, Moses, choose from these men, able men, men of character, men of capacity. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. As you can see, even from the Bible, a congregation is being given to men that have capacity and character. Praise the living Jesus. And in the book of Genesis 1, 26 and 27, the Bible says, Let us make man our own image after our own wickedness, and let them have dominion. Praise the living Jesus. So every one of us is created with the capacity and the character of God. Praise the living Jesus. You are created to light the world. The world is full of darkness. People don't know what to do. People are tired of what is happening in the world. But you as a person, you are created to light the world. You are sent to show the right path for people to follow. You are a good example for people. Praise the living Jesus. That is the way you are created to be. You are, you are created to be solution to the problem comforting humanity. People should see you and see solution to the problem comforting them. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Maybe you are a organizer. People should see the way you are doing your work and they will say, hey, what is special about this guy? Why are you doing this kind of your work and you are happy? Praise the living Jesus. Maybe you are a security man. It doesn't matter. What matters is that people want to see the kind of character God has in you. Praise the living Jesus. We are in a world in which we are full of people that complain. Complain now. Nigeria is bad. The country is bad. It's not easy to make it. It's difficult to make it. This country is rough. This country is so, this so, 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 so. We are in a world where we have so many people that complain. But that is not the assignment God has sent you to come and do on earth. You are here to come and tell people there is hope. Even where there is no hope. Even in hopeless situation. Praise the living Jesus. There was a man so many years ago in America. They, 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 they were where not, they were not allowing the black to move close to the white. Where they were, they, they, were, they were abusing the black. But the man said, I had a dream that one day there will be no separation between the black and the white anymore. Even when things were no, even when things were not okay, somebody was able to see ahead. Attend the word the full show old. Praise the living Jesus. You are created to be a force that people want to hear. To be the light that people will use to see. You are to show God character and capacity. Praise the living Jesus. In your, in your place of work, in your family, in anywhere you find yourself, you can't tell me you are born again. And what you are doing does, show, does not reflect the glory of God. You are not representing God. You are to be a representative of God on earth. Praise the living Jesus. Whether you say pure water or you say asota, whatever you say, whatever you do, people will should see you and see God in it. Building God's kingdom, building kingdom character and capacity. Praise the living Jesus. What does it mean to be? Building is a lot of molding, creating, constructing, and developing a project, an object, or a concept. Where you build, you mold, you develop, you construct, you create. What is a kingdom? A kingdom is a system of a government under the leadership of a king. A kingdom is a system of a government under the leadership of a king. Are you agree with me? Our king is our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the living Jesus. So we are part of the kingdom. Say I'm part of the kingdom. What is a character? Character is a distinct attribute that distinguishes you from another. It's a distinct attribute that distinguishes you from another. Praise the living Jesus. I want you to take note of those terminology. What is capacity? Capacity is ability to accomplish a given task. Praise the living Jesus. Therefore, kingdom character is an acceptable habit, attribute, characteristics that is generally accepted, approved, and authorized by the king. Kingdom character is an acceptable habit, attribute, and characteristics that is generally accepted, approved, and authorized by the king. There is no way you will live by the character of God that you will not live an outstanding life. Even the Bible said this. I have never seen a righteous man be forsaken. Show me a man that is truly righteous. 
A man that has integrity, a man that may take godly character, it can never be the day. Most of the time, in attempt to seek to help ourselves in the thing is the way of life. In attempt to, to, to get to the top, we compromise. Praise the living Jesus. We compromise our standard. We compromise our faith because we want to get married. You compromise. Praise the living Jesus. Before you want to get a job, you compromise. Because you want to get certificate, you compromise. At the end of the day, the marriage is not working. At the end of the day, the certificate is not working. At the end of the day, there is no even job for the certificate to be used for. Praise the living Jesus. Kingdom capacity is ability to, 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 to accomplish a given task. It's the divine enablement. Inherent ability that is required to actualize your, your dream. Kingdom capacity. Praise the living Jesus. I want you to understand this fact. You are responsible to build your character and capacity. You are responsible. Stop looking for a church that will help you. Stop looking for anyone that will help you. Stop looking for who will help you, who will guide you. You are responsible. Whatever become of you is your responsibility. Praise the living Jesus. There was a story of a man in the Bible, Joseph. Joseph was was the least among his brother. Joseph was the one that was righteous. Joseph was the one that had good character. Anytime they do bad things, it is Joseph that will come back to come and tell his father. While other people are doing what they like, Joseph will be to do what they are doing. He took the responsibility of his life. While other people are living to chance, let's see what God will do. I know there will be a way. Joseph does not even know, let him know there will be a way. He takes responsibility. You must take responsibility. Praise the living Jesus. Number two, whatever become of you is a product of your character and capacity. It is possible to be destined to be the top, and you don't get to the top. I want to tell you the story of a king. There was a king, he had two sons. Where they were born, he went to consult the oracle. The oracle said the first one will become the king. The last one will become nobody. After 30 years, the first son that was determined, the first, the first son that be, as, that, be, that be prophesied or that be seen that he become the king, he, do, he did nothing. He lived a wayward life. Why? Because he has been later, he will become a king. He, he, he did whatever he wanted to do. He was no discipline, he has no character, he has no capacity to maintain a kingdom. Why? Because I have told him there is a the throne is guaranteed for him. The second son I have been told that he become a nobody. He was careful about his life. He was careful about what he say. He was careful about what he wear. He was careful about the way he behaved. He was careful about the way you, he talk. He built character in himself. He built capacity. You don't know. Though, though I was told I don't have a full show, but I was sure I prepared myself for the full show. I don't know what will happen in full show, but I see there all by intention. I know I will get there. Praise the living Jesus. At the end of the day, they went back to consult the oracle. Now the king have died. So oracle, we want to reaffirm what you told us 20 years ago. Oracle is sensible. Oracle realized that <laughs> when they consult the oracle, ah, you know, it cannot be possible. Ah, oracle will not tell lies. They consult the oracle again. They said, no. It's not possible again. It's not the first that will become the king again. They say, why? Because he doesn't have the capacity to maintain the kingdom. They say, it's not the first one that will become the king again. They say, why? He lack character. It will be a disaster. Who else? They say, it's the second. This was the same, this was the same person you said, all of who said he has no full shot. He has a full shot now. So no matter what anybody have told you, no matter anybody have said to you, no matter what that's not working, if you can work on your character, if you can work on your capacity, you have a full show. Look at your neighbor and say, I have a full show. No matter the level of prophecy, no matter the gift you have or you lack, if you can work on these two things, your character, your capacity, you have a full show. Praise the living Jesus. Add six, six one to three. 
Where the apostles were considering who are we going to choose that will take care of the table. Why? Because we are not be taking care of the world that will be taking care of the table. The Bible says they search and they look for people that have capacity. Let's go to the book of Acts. See, it's one to today. Since I live for fast two, there the twelve summoned the multitude of disciples and said, It's not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve table. Therefore, better seek out from among you some men of good reputation, full of Holy Spirit and wisdom, who may apply a point over this business. Praise the living Jesus. Choose among you some men of good reputation. Full of Holy Spirit and wisdom. You see character. You see capacity. Praise the name of Jesus. Because it's not enough to have anointing. If you lack capacity, you have character. It will be a great disaster. Praise the living Jesus. A great, dest a great destiny without great character is called disaster. The security of your future, it depends on your capacity and character. The security of your future. It depends on your capacity and character. A black man is a graduate as I've been working, as we, yeah, 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 yeah. Where there was no joy, he got the, he got the bike and he was driving. And anytime he picks, he, he pick, he pick a passenger, he, he speak nicely, he behaves maturely. You know that this was a full shot. You know, sometimes it's not what to do, it's what to carry inside of you. Though he was a bike man, but the way you do things, you know, this one is the end of a bank. As a matter of time, he will get there. So he was doing his job. It's not like so many people that have no job to do. Instead of them to have what to do, they are prophesying for the full show. Oh, boy, brother and sister, you need to understand this thing. Stop prophesying. Start doing what you need to do. Sometimes when your dream has not come to pass, when what you need has not come to you, you must engage in something. Praise the living Jesus. So this bike man, he was just doing his work. One day, he, he, he picked a passenger. And the passenger was discussing about the interview in a, in a, in a, in a particular bank. Ah, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. They send me an SMS. So the guy had. So there's an interview tomorrow. So, 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 Sophia. So he went there. They asked him, where is your text message? I don't have a text message. Praise the living Jesus. Where is your test message? There is no test message, but I, 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 I'm part of those that will do the interview. The security man said, you are not serious. Pack yourself, pack yourself. Oh, no, the man, the man refused to go. One of those people that will consult the interview drove in. I saw the guy, come here, what are you here for? I'm here for the interview. Were well, you invited? No. But I know, I know, I know, I know I can perform well. You are coming, coming, coming. That was how he was invited. That was how he was giving the job. Praise the living Jesus. Why? Because he has character, he has capacity. Praise the living Jesus. So the security of your future is determined by your character and capacity. Destiny without capacity will make one a destitute. Praise the living Jesus. What are the five areas in which you must be capacity? Number one, spiritually. The Bible says, physical exercise profit a little, but godliness profited to all things. Praise the living Jesus. The number one area you must be your capacity on is spiritually. What are your spiritual strengths? I want to ask you. When last have you exercised yourself spiritually? Many of us, we are empty spiritually. Someone says, Shabia, I, used to, I come to church every Sunday. When last have you? No, 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 no. You have to say, when well, I messed up, the enemy came. If your enemy come now, in the hour of the night, are you sure it will not eat you? Praise the living Jesus. Spiritual capacities are about having people approve. When the hour is short, it will not enter. Many of us will lack spiritual people approve. When last have you charged yourself spiritually? When last have you gone to the presence of God and you were there for one hour? 
Well, yeah, when last have you taken shark spiritually? Praise the living Jesus. Though you have the gift, but you lack the spiritual capacity. What does it mean to have spiritual capacity? It's ability to know the will of God and to do the will of God. It's an ability to build and maintain constant relationship and fellowship with God. Praise the living Jesus. As a married couple, when last have you shared your prayer altar? Praise the living Jesus. Most of the time, you know, when you have a, when you have a phone and you are just sharing the phone, you cannot make a call on it. That is the same life most of us are living. Spiritually, most people are dead. And if there is anything to happen, it will take the grace of God. Because we, are not, we have no stamina. Praise the living Jesus. How do I build spiritual capacity? Number one, embrace the word of God. The Bible says, study to show yourself a proof unto God. Another Bible verse says, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. Embrace the word of God. Read the word, number one. Number two, study the word. Number three, meditate on the word. Number four, memorize the word. Number five, confess the word. Number six, Practicalize the world, obey the world, do the world. Number six, share the world. When last have you done all those things with the word of God? When last? That is why you are spiritually empty. Oh, daddy, pray upon you. I not pray until the answer will come. When you see a mosquito, you will shout, die, 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 21 times before a mosquito will die. Why wow, you are empty? Oh, daddy, I think you cannot pray on it. You cannot stand in God for your family. You are empty. When last have you studied the world? You spent one hour. When last? It's not enough to come to church and I did a prayer. It's not a sign of spiritual strength. The Bible says. Even when a just for seven times, shall rise again. Why? Because he has stamina. When somebody that have no stamina fall, that is the end. And that's why so many people are falling. I pray when you not fall in Jesus' name. Amen. So you need to develop spiritual stamina. How do I develop myself spiritually? Number two, be a prayer addict. Be a prayer addict. I pity a guy just got married, and every day he's taking his wife to cinema. Why is not? There is nothing wrong to take your wife to cinema. It's good, but he has not been told that marriage is a battlefield. <laughs> the day the enemy will strike one attack, you will know you are not in marriage for cinema. <laughs> you have to protect the future of the person you marry. Time will come. Maybe she is in the labor. The baby is not coming forth. That you need to show your spiritual muscle. Baby, come out in Jesus' name. But if you are the one every day in cinema, Safi! <laughs> Praise the living Jesus. When the time is was passed, so you are the way that I said, when the mouth fall. The death he will to go is determined by the spirituality of his wife. Because the wife will help him to rise up. Praise the living Jesus. When last have you stand in God for your brother and sister? Praise the living Jesus. The activity level of prayer, number one, asking level. Number two, seeking level. Number three, knocking level. Most of the time we remain on the asking Asking, you have not got to a stage of seeking. You have been asking for a thing, the answer has not come. You need to be seeking. Why has he not come? Because there's another level of prayer. Why has he not come? Who is delaying it? What is delaying? Where is he angry? Praise the living Jesus. There's another level of prayer. It's knocking. You cannot be praying for one hour every day. You are bombarding the heaven, and heaven will not respond. But what kind of people do we have? 
Father, in the name of Jesus, do what you can do. Do what you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the prayer they will pray. But Facebook, they will spend one hour on Facebook. YouTube, they will spend one hour on YouTube. And when the enemies try, you want to be, you, you, you'll be blaming the church. Praise the living Jesus. There are four kinds of prayer. Number one, prayer of appreciation. Number two, prayer of sanctification. Number four, prayer of intercession. Number five, prayer of warfare. These are the four levels of prayer we should be praying. If you must maintain spiritual stamina, every day of your, time, of your life, you should wake up and be interceding. My wife must not die. La kato kodo kodo, I cannot miss money. Le kepo shoko tari kara, le ke. There is no way you will be interceding. You are developing spiritual stamina. And when anybody comes to deceive you for marriage, you know why? Because you have been interceding. But someone that is not interceding, any form of deception, the person will fall. Praise the living Jesus. Number three, engage in regular fasting. If you must develop spiritual stamina, engage in regular fasting. There is no, if there is no day you fast as a family, you are, you are a man, you are not coordinating your prayer altar. You are a woman, you are not standing in God for your husband. It's not on the battle day you start praying. You pray before the battle will come. You don't wait until you are kidnapped before you start praying. You don't wait for the evil to happen before you start praying. You don't wait for the arm robber to come and be knocking before you start praying. You must start it so that it will not happen. Praise the living Jesus. Engage in regular fasting. Even the Bible says, this kind cannot go out and say by prayer and fasting. That's a mountain that will remain in a family and say you pray and fast. See, devil does not want money to succeed. Devil does not want business to succeed. Devil does not want you to, to, to actualize your capacity. So he will do everything to pull you down. But with prayer and fasting, you will overcome. We will overcome in Jesus' name. Number four, be committed to kingdom service. Be committed to kingdom service. Be committed to kingdom service. And number five, be a lover of God. That is spiritually. The next one is number mentally or inter and intellectually. You must develop your ability to reason, to think positively, and to make a standing decision. You must develop ability to reason, to think positively, and to make a standing result. You need to develop intellectual capacity. It's not every time you will need to call past someone. It's not every time you will be looking for someone. Sometimes you need to develop capacity. There are some decisions. Imagine the hour of the night, something happened. I need to take decision. Will you be calling your pastor at the hour of the night? Praise the living Jesus. You must engage your mind on productive adventures. No matter financially, you need to develop financial capacity. You need to develop the ability to learn, to earn, to retain, and to multiply money. You need the capacity, ability to earn, to retain, and to multiply money. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible says he became a poor, he that walked with slack hand. I had the story of a guy that was working as a teacher, his salary is 40,000. And other people are complaining. Ah, the school does not pay well. It's not difficult to succeed as a teacher. That is the complaint that are complaining. The guy refused to complain. He looked for three students, he looked for three or four students. He teach one English. He teach another mathematics. They give him 20, 20,000 plus 40,000, making 100,000 dollars per month. Why other people are complaining? In a month, he make 100,000. He used that money to, 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 go, to go and further for as his MBA. He used that money he's making to develop himself more. Now he has left the place of complaining. 
Why are there people that are still complaining of the 40,000 naira? You cannot succeed here as a teacher. It's not possible to succeed as a teacher. They are still there, you earn 40,000. They are still there. Praise the living Jesus. Number four, physically. You need to develop your capacity physically. Ability to work on yourself to become fit and healthy. Praise the living Jesus. You must eat well. You don't live to eat. You eat to live. Eat well. Most of the time we are, we are, not, we are not fit. We are not capable. Why? Because most of the time some of us are not eating well. Brother, if you know you aren't taking care of yourself, if he, if he is to get married, go and get married. It's not every day you be drinking bread and coke, bread and coke. There is nothing balanced diet in bread and coke. Praise the living Jesus. You need to walk well. You need to rest where? Where is time to rest? Rest. Some of us, where is the time you're supposed to sleep, you will not sleep. You'll be shouting. So where is you about to pray, you will be sleeping. Disorganized life. The time you're supposed to sleep, you will not sleep. You'll be shouting. So where is you about to pray, you will not pray. You'll be sleeping. You need to be properly guided. I was talking with a brother. I was talking with a brother some time ago. I was telling him, I know, I know you have a ministry, but you have to take your time. Take your time. There is something you need to do. There is something you must balance. Balance your life. If you die, ministry will continue. If you die, ministry will continue. God has so many people, He will use you. So you must take your time. You must rest. Where is you need to eat? Eat. I don't know if you rest. There was a, something happened so many times ago in a particular church. A particular people were doing fasting and prayer, and after 10 days, the person died. I don't know what killed the person. But all I'm saying is this, that sometimes you must know what to do, what you should do. Where you should fast, fast. That's why you should regulate your fasting. I want to be fasting once in a week. It's okay. I want to be fasting twice a week. It's okay. Most of the time, the time you're supposed to fast, you are not fasting. It is where there is problem. I will go for 21 days. Someone has not done one day. You said of you to be doing it. It's a gradual process. Start it now so that you will not rush it in full shop. It's not where your wife is about to deliver. I want to go on 21 dry fasting. Ask him, since the day you people got married, have you stayed? Well, well, do you fast? When last have you gone? When last have you have you done family Fiji? No, it's Instagram Fiji. It's television. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, my Lord, Baba, say. Ah, this man is funny. Praise the living Jesus. And that's why many marriages, I read the story of a, a, the marriage lasts for six weeks. They did the honeymoon in Ghana, from Ghana, they went to Gambia, from Ghana, they had to, they had to go to UK. It was in Gambia, they scattered everything. And on the wedding day, the governor of Lagos State was there. Personality were there. They were just doing show. Praise the living Jesus. Number five, you need to develop yourself emotionally. Ability to relate with others. To manage the relationship and to resolve conflict. Most of the time, people that complain, the right person has not got them. Ask them, how do you manage the relationship? How do you manage the relationship? How do you relate with people? Some of the time, these are the aspects you are lacking. How do you show care and concern? Show emotion, show affection. Let people know you care. That is the only thing Abigail show. The day David saw her, ah, David wish, ah, ah, wish this guy has not married. Just one encounter. What, who, what kind of lady is this? Praise the living Jesus. So, you need to develop yourself and be capacity emotionally. Praise the living Jesus. This 
ministry must do to build capacity and to build character. I told us that we are in the, the time we are now, people reward capacity, they reward character. Praise the living Jesus. We are in a time in which if you don't have capacity, if you don't have character, you'll be denied of your rightful blessing. There is a man called Ruben in the Bible. Ruben was the first one. There is a TD position that Ruben was entitled to. Number one is the first, first, first born, first born gift. He was not given to him. Number two is loyalty. He was not given to him. Number three is peace food. It was not given to him. Why? Because he lacked capacity, he lacked character. Praise the living Jesus. Things you must do, 15 things you must do to build your capacity and to build your character. Number one, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Look for the area of your life you wish you are not, you need to adjust on. Assess yourself. Stop looking for who to assess you. Work on yourself. Most of the time, the responsibility we need to take on ourselves, we are living it for the society. You are looking for the day. Somebody will help you. The day. Somebody will, will guide you. You are looking for the day that will gather people together. Somebody say, eh, 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 eh. I was listening, I was listening to a message. That the first eh, the Chancellor, Covenant University, he was saying that somebody came to him. I said, eh, eh, Bishop, Bishop, can you please spend two hours with me? Bishop said, even my wife, I have not spent two hours with my wife. You are a lazy person. Go get my book and my and my table and read. I have not spent two hours with my wife, so I should be spending two hours with you. There is nothing you want to learn. I have not written in a, on, in a book. Go and get the book and read. Praise the living Jesus. So you need to work on yourself. Improve yourself. Praise the Lord. Number two, live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. Don't join people that are doing the right thing. Live a life that is righteous. The Bible says, righteous says, it's not a ratio, but sins is a reproach. The Bible says, all wicked will be destroyed. All sin now will be destroyed. There is no future for the wicked. If you, love, if you want your future to be guaranteed, live a righteous life. It's better to be righteous, I have no money. That to be righteous, I have spent money. I could remember I was working in a place and they were making money. Ah, they were making money. I said, me, I can't stay here. My full shot does not fit here. I know where I'm going. Someone told me, she me to I'm a pastor in my church. I'm a pastor. If I'm the one that is heading there, I said, you can be a pastor. That does not matter. But me, I know where I'm going. I decide from there. Why? Because I know you must live a righteous life. If you are doing what they are doing, you become part of them. You become part of them. I was counseling a sister, and I told, she told me what she used to do. I said, don't do it again. Don't do it again. If you keep doing it, you will remain the same way they are. I share a story of uh, a, a girl, a story of a, of a lady with a sister. There is a lady I know, 15 years ago, she has been selling oil. Not soon. 15 years ago. Up to now, she's still selling oil. Preto. She's still selling preto. Up to now, 15 years ago. Why? Because she, she, she used to cheat people. If you want to buy one liter, she will say, I have liter for you. And that's what she had been doing 15 years ago. 15 years ago. She, I thought that, see, the more you keep cheating people, the more you will remain. You will deny yourself of your full show. Whatever God wants to do for you, you, you will not do it again because you have disqualified yourself. May we not disqualify ourselves in Jesus' name. No matter you embrace humility and develop maturity. Show humility. Let people know you are humble. Display humility. Most of the youth of nowadays, we are proud and arrogant. And we are denying ourselves of God's plan and purpose. Praise the living Jesus. Number four, develop your uniqueness. There is something that is unique about you. You have your own of capacity. Develop it. Number five, improve and upgrade yourself. Improve and upgrade yourself. Don't remain the same you are. Stop holding, stop looking for who to hold responsible. Praise the living Jesus. You have SSE now. Improve yourself. Oh, you are a tailor now. Improve yourself. I upgrade yourself to become a fashion designer. 
Praise the living Jesus. Improve yourself. Number six, practice self-discipline. Watch what to say. Watch what to see. Watch what to hear. Watch what to think. Watch what to do. Watch what to eat. Practice self-discipline. See, sometimes me, discipline are not sin. But if you continue doing it, they become a waste that will pull you down. For instance, there's nothing wrong to be watching film. But the more you spend time on a film, you are watching, you have, it, it will become an addition. So you will not have time for any other thing again. It will be, and your career is not to be a lonely with that dress. If, for instance, now you want to be like a motor lad now, there's nothing wrong because that is your feet. After you, you want to be a tailor, you are washing on the wood. What is correlation? You want to be sewing on the wood? Instead of you to be washing tailor, wash people that are sewing. That is your feet. You are not a footballer. Everything about you is football. And you are complaining the economy is bad. The economy will be bad because you are not washing your feet. Praise the living Jesus. You are a shoemaker. Instead of you to remain focused, you are looking somebody else. Practice self-discipline. Number seven will be accountable. I must address this thing. Most of the time, we are not accountable. You are, we are, they give you 20 naira. 20 naira. You use the money for another thing. You are not accountable. And most of the time, if you lack accountability, you lack integrity. If you lack integrity, it's possible to miss eternity. For instance, now, I have my money, 15 naira. Four people give me money, 20, 20 naira. Because I'm not accountable, I match everything together. So I forgot who gave me money and who does not give me money. And the money is not my money. Maybe it's church money. Or association money. So I just brought somewhere. I want to eat better than beans. I took the money they gave me on my own, spent everything. I forgot it because I'm not accountable. If Diabetes is lack of accountability. Though it wasn't, it wasn't intentionally. But because he lacked accountability, he spent it all. And that kind of person, no matter the level of anointing, no matter how he speak in tongue, a cast at demons, he lack integrity, and he may meet integrity. Embrace accountability. Be accountable. Be detailed. Document everything. This is not my money. This is a record. Somebody gave you money, and you need to lead, use the money. Seek, seek approval. Hi, sir, please. Over there, I need, me, the money you asked me to keep, can I? I want to do something with it. Is it allowed? It's a sign of being accountable. Don't say, it's, a, it's my money. It's my money. It's, he he asked me to keep. If nobody is seeing you, God is seeing you. And you know, maybe God has testing you to become the minister of finance. So if they put you in charge of machine that print money, you print everything. You just waste Nigeria. Why? Because you are not accountable. The next one, may guard your integrity. Maintain focus. Stop doing everything. You are a tailor, you are a capital, you are a barber. You are a fashion designer. There is no area of focus. You multiply your strength. If God has assigned time to bless you, on Monday, Jay will be waiting for you in your barbie, your barbie shop. You are in another place selling sugar. <laughs> on Tuesday, when you are going to where he's selling sugar, you are in another place doing shoe copper. <laughs> on Wednesday, go to where he's doing shoe copper. You are in another place selling Maggi. <laughs> Everyone said this guy is confused. <laughs> call him home, call him home, call him home. We don't need someone like him on earth. He's not focused. Be focused. If it is pure water you are sending, be sending your pure water. One day, angel of blessing will locate you. Stop chopping where people are chopping. Stay where you are supposed to stay. Praise the living Jesus. The next one, acquire the divine knowledge. Add knowledge to yourself. If I say add to your faith, virtue. Add to your virtue, wisdom. Add to yourself. Add to yourself. How can you graduate 10 years ago? The only thing you are carried up at that is HND. You know I have HND. How many years ago? 15 years ago. After 15 years ago, there's nothing you have learned. There's nothing else you learn. You know I, 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 I stay at home. I stay at home. 
add to yourself? What are you adding to yourself? How are you developing yourself? Someone said, this time is prayer and need. Power that is pursuing me die. Power that is pursuing me die. Hey, it's good to ask the power to die. But the power will die, opportunity will come, you don't have capacity. All those power you are killing, I pray, maybe you, I pray, may, you, may it not be that you just kill it for the people that are coming behind you. Why? Because you are just focusing fighting battle. You are not growing yourself. Why other people that are coming behind you, they go to school, they develop yourself. Where opportunity come, family meeting. Ah, he's the first one that's around. Leave him alone. Lord, what does he have? Let's wait for the last one. May that not, may that not be your history in Jesus' name. Praise the living Jesus. The next song, maintain right environment. I'm writing up now. Maintain right environment. If you communication corrupt good manners, no matter how spiritual you are, if you are staying somewhere where they are doing what is ungodly, one day you do what is ungodly. You cannot shame them. Maintain the right environment. Number 13, embrace selfless service. You have opportunity to serve. 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 Stevie was not a preacher. Stevie was an usher. And God used him. God can use you anywhere you find yourself. If it is toilet you want to walk, wash and see the way God will wash your life. Don't judge people that come to the house of God and complain every time. Find something you can do and serve. Praise the living Jesus. Number 14, walk your way out. Plan your way out. Walk your way out. Strategize. Come out of your comfort zone. And lastly, connect to God. Can we bow our head? Connect to God. Most of the time we have capacity, we have, but we are not doing anything concerning it. And because of our leggy jersey, you have missed so many things. If you are here and you want to come out to God, the Bible says, abide in me and I will abide in you. Without me, ye can do nothing. If you want to surrender your life to Christ, are you please raise up your hands that we pray together. Oh, yes, bow. You know you are disconnected to God. You know you are lack capacity. You lack character. You are stealing money. You steal God church money. You steal your parents' money. You steal your organization. You are stealing. Praise the living Jesus. Can you raise up your hands? You know the area you wish is you. Some of us, you are here. You go back to school. You are cheating. Some of us, you are into the relationship, you are committing immorality and adultery. Whatever God did told you, you belong. And you want Jesus to, to, you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Can you please raise up your hands as we pray together? You know you are not right. You don't have a right. You know what you have done. You know yourself. Don't regard your position. No matter your position, what is wrong is wrong. What is right is right. If you are here, you are listening to me, and you know you have disconnected to God. I want you to say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sin. I'm sorry for my past way of life. I'm sorry for my, for my lack of accountability. I'm sorry for all the things I've done, oh Lord. I'm sorry, oh Lord, for the sin I've committed. Have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to do your way. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we stand on our feet as we pray this prayer? If you have to the prayer to pray, I want you to pray the prayer with all your strength. At the exercise, I want to give you as you go home today, sit down and atomize how your life is going. 
Sit down and plan your life. What have I done? What have I done wrong? What do I need to do? Why has my level not changed? What capacity do I need, do I need to develop? What are the character I'm lacking? What have they said concerning me? Some of us prophecy have gone forth. Some of us vision has come. Revelation has come. And yet they are not being materialized. So, oh God of mercy, by your mercy, bless me for every act of righteousness. Prayer in the name of Jesus. This is prayer of sanctification. You don't need to wait for me to command it. Don't ask me to command the devil to die before you start praying. Ask God for mercy. By your mercy, have mercy on me. For every, cleanse me for, by your blood. Purify me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I every out of our righteousness. You know what to you to do. Oh, yeah, start naming them. Lord, have mercy on me. Over this thing I've done. Over this thing I've done. I'm sorry, Lord. Let your mercy speak for me. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. You know how many people you have cheated. You know how many lies you have lied. You know what you have done is wrong. Confess your sin now. La capoto goda. Le kepo shaligala. Lord, I know, I know. This is not where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I am because of what I've done. Lord, have mercy on me. I'm sorry for the mistake I've made in the past. I'm sorry for what I've taken that is not mine. I'm sorry, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. All the lack of integrity I've executed. Lord, let your mercy speak. Some of us, God, God tests you because of money. Money. Money! Are you prayed? Pray for mercy now. Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, every opportunity I've lost. Be restored in Jesus' name. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every opportunity I've lost be restored in Jesus' name. I've given you time to pray that prayer. That is second to the last prayer. Every opportunity I've lost be restored in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray.